G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. So today, it's only going to be a really quick short video. Now, I know I've said that in the past, it ends up being a 20 minute video, but hopefully not with this one. All we're doing today is reinstalling the rear sway bar. Now the rubbers and bushes that came out of this, well, they were pretty bad. They'd obviously been in there since original, they become quite hard, well, actually they become quite brittle, totally, nearly falling apart. Well actually, there you go, broken. <clears throat> right, so this whole kit came from online auto parts. But the really cool thing is that Online Auto Parts supplies a whole lot of Australian made stuff. So Online Auto Parts is obviously an Australian based company, but they also teamed up and they sell a whole lot of products from local and Australian made companies such as Polytuff. So Polytuff, they make all your suspension bushes, all your different rubbers. It was the Polytuff product that we used in all their bushes when we did our full suspension upgrade. It's only logical that you continue to use the Polytuff right through the rear sway bar. Right, that's enough talking. Let's get into this and put it all together. It doesn't get so we've got all new poly bushes. So I don't know what the heck these were. Someone's done some agricultural uh, fix up with some um, ingenious carving and cutting of rubber. Then they've bent some tubes together to get our little crushed tubes. These ones, I have no idea. So the brand new ones are poly, looking awesome. All new nuts, bolts, and crush tubes, new split pins, so the kit comes with a whole lot. Now the actual sway bar bush, that was the old one. As you can see, it was pretty old, and it just, it tore apart. Now they weren't going to be used again. This is where our Polytuff sway bar bushes come back into, into play, so. Now Polytuff offer a five year, 100,000 K warranty. That's pretty impressive. You know you've got confidence in your brand when you're offering that type of warranty. The Polytuff kit also comes with all its own grease, so they supply the grease ready to go in the kit. And the grease should always be applied wherever you have metal to poly connected. Right, so we've got our connector arms here, we want to push our bushes into here. So we're just going to grease all this up. Not only will it make it easier to slide in, but it'll make the whole system last a lot longer. Now make sure you use the uh, lithium based or Molytac grease. So I'm going to use straight from the chem tools the Molytac which is a lithium based grease. So I'm going to be using that today. Polytuff do supply their own if you want to use that as well. Highly recommended. So all I'm going to do is just grease up. Grease up my bush and the inside. And then comes a little bit tricky part. Just slowly push it in with a vise. That'll just pop straight through like that. And we're done. And that will be the easiest way to get your bush into your little trailing arms there. We're gonna do exactly the same with this end here. Grease it all up, put it in the vise, and just slowly squeeze it together. Grease up the whole lot. Now one thing I didn't mention is on my vise I've actually got soft jaws. Get our sway bar and we'll just sit that in place. Squeeze that in and just pops straight in like that. It doesn't get much easier than that. Just cleaning the grease off on the outside of it. 
only for the sake of when we touch it, we don't get grease all over ourselves. Right, eh? Get one of our little swing legs. You can always, if you like, add a bit more grease to your crush tube, the outside of that. There we go. Now you'll notice that they've got a castle nut on these. Now we're only going to do them up just so it's just firm, because we don't want to do it up too tight. If we do it up too tight, you're actually going to crush the whole thing and then we're sort of going against what we're actually trying to achieve. Once it's finger tight, all I'm gonna do, 14 mil, so I'm just gonna give it one full turn. So it's not too tight, still got lots of movement there. Then we can get our split pin, drop our split pin straight through. Hold that split pin back, we're done. Do exactly the same to the other side, and we can put it on the car. Exactly the same, we're gonna pack all this full of grease inside here, and then all we're gonna do is slip them straight over the back of our bar, and then we can bolt these up. Fill that up with grease. We will grease all the outside of that too, but we will do that after we get these on. It's going to be a little bit trickier because we need to open this wide up and pop it over our bar. So all I've done there, you saw that pop straight over. I've got my two thumbs. I've opened it up like so and then forced it straight over the bar and pop straight on. Open it up. Pop straight on just like that. Right, so that's all together. All we need to do now is take it outside. Now it is cold outside, it's been freezing cold. Luckily, I've got my buff from Ali all the way from Scotland. But the funny thing is, only today from Skinny Cruises, is I've just ordered an air conditioning kit for the FJ40. So it seems so strange that I'm ordering air conditioning on such a cold day. It actually snowed right here in my backyard today and I'm ordering air conditioning. But anyway, that's the way it is. So let's go take this outside, we'll chuck this on and the install will be done and that's it. Get all your nuts, bolts, split washers, all your brackets, 14mm spanner, 12mm spanner. Let's head out and do it. Righto, we've had a new sway bar all set up. Let's flick it over side of our suspension here. Just sort of sit that down, just rest that in place. Drop in two of our bolts, just so they're lined up. Put our nuts just here so hopefully we don't lose them. I don't want to lose my nuts. Let's just grease up all along this sway bar here, where that's going to be sliding into. Again, it would be so much easier if you had a second set of hands. Now, talking about a second set of hands, Jack and Jake have now started their own YouTube channel. I'll put a link below, so make sure you go check them out. And you can see Jack's little project and how he's going with it all. Everything's covered in grease, which is exactly what you want. Except for when you get it all over your hands. All right, so it's fairly straightforward now. All we need to do is sit that into there. But before we do that, again, crush tubes. So we'll grease up our crush tube as well. With our bolt. Didn't show this before. We're just gonna grease that end part there. Don't wanna get grease all over the thread, just that part there. Line it up. Drop our bolt in. Now there's a little folded over tab that was already there. 
that'll help retain our bolt as we do it up, our castle nut. Same process as before, finger tight, and we'll just go one full revolution all the way around, just so it doesn't crush it, but we want lots of movement to be available there. Drop in our split pin. Now this one I slid it in, I've pushed the nut on our little retainer tab, so I've pushed that up first. Okay, that's just starting to close up, so that would have been about finger tight. And we'll just go one more revolution. Make sure that you've got movement. Line that hole up. Drop our split pin in. And fold it over. So all that's left to do now is do our main bolts up. And clean up all this grease that we've got all over the place. Right, so that's it guys, sway bars in, all new bushes from Polytuff, which you get from online auto parts, and it was all cleaned up and painted with it using the Chemtools NPR, which is a nice galvanising gloss back paint, so it's going to protect it for a long time to come. It looks fantastic, and we know that we're going to get another, I don't know, let's say 50 years out of this life. Right, now, guys, thanks again for your support, really appreciate it, feel free to hit the subscribe button down the bottom. Leave a thumbs up, feel free to leave a comment, and until next time, take care of yourselves.